Hello guys, this is Vaish. So what happened in history on August 30? Okay, so we are completing almost this month, only one more day is there. And uh, today I hope you have seen the uh, editorial because I taught you a trick to remember G20 country, G10 country, G7 country and G4 country. Okay, then there is a P5 country. So these are all our important prelims things from which question will come. So don't miss this episode. Okay, not only this last one week, if you see the editorials have been so lengthy and so detailed so that you don't miss one mark from your prelims or mains. Okay, I want everyone to clear very easily the upcoming year. That's why I'm putting extra effort. Okay, so please uh, see this. Today's was a very lesser timeline actually only 28 minutes because last yesterday's was I think nearly one hour because it's number of articles varies each day okay but please watch these things your complete prelims and mains preparation will get complete now today's importance like what is the specialty of august 30 a lot of things are there this is i think the lengthiest again uh, events which happened on a single particular day like first thing is it is the national small industry day in india okay in today's article also i discussed about msme sector and small industries so today august 30 is the national small industry day okay that is the reason maybe that editorial also came today then again internationally if you take it is the uh, international day of the victims of enforced disappearances okay meaning due to war due to certain things people disappear or people move away from their loved ones or from their land land from, from their homeland and all so that day for victims of such people that memory of that day august 30 again by the united nations they have uh, declared it okay so one is the national like small businesses day or uh, uh, the people meaning the majority you know 60 percent or above are working in small industries in india so for them a day and then for the enforced disappearances that victims for for them an international day that both are august 30. now we related to our indian history many things are there like guru ramdas who was the fourth uh, uh, sikh guru okay Sikh, you know the 10 gurus uh, which are all important arjun or many many many, many people are there guru uh, gobind and many, many people this everyone has its significance okay related to the golden temple related to their guru granth sahib the, their book is there their uh, things are there so many many important things each person is there i have taught you in my modern history it's there in my revision charts which, which i give to my test series students so like that this person also has has authored many uh, books and many things and many related to this uh, marriage rights in the Sikhism religion that and all he have authored and he's, his birthday is on 1574 August 30th okay then Jahangir's also birthday is uh, it's actually I think 69 okay that you can recheck 69 it will be okay somewhere here uh, okay 1569 okay 1569 this uh, is not 59 so Jahangir was born Jahangir's full name is that you know Salim uh, this Nuruddin Muhammad Salim he is the son of Akbar and uh, uh, he was born uh, as the next uh, like Mughal emperor okay the mother name is also given here this father is Akbar and mother is Maryam Uz Zamani okay born in 1569 named after the Indian Sufi Saint Salim Chisti okay so this also sometimes UPC if they want to trouble you or any other exams also like which is the Mughal ruler which is named after a Sufi Saint so you should know this okay Salim is uh, named after him so that particular one fact then again uh, Mughal okay 1659 now that is 1569 now it is 1659 uh, you know aurang uh, sorry uh, this uh, shah jahan shah jahan's two sons are there one is dara shiko and one is aurangzeb so they both had a battle which is again a very historical battle in which uh, aurangzeb defeated or and defeated and killed his own brother dara shiko and that is how aurangzeb became the mughal ruler and after that you know the decline of mughal started because aurangzeb was a very orthodox person wanted to spread only islam across the these things because before that and all like we see shah jahan jahangir akbar and all little bit of very little bit of at least secularism also also was there and uh, many like the way they govern many uh, policies many agriculture policies many land policies many military policies many things are there but Aurangzeb's time you will hear only disasters happening okay so even small small uh, the uh, kingdom starts forming and then they all revolt and finally you know what happened that complete kingdom was gone Mughal was the last Islamic kingdom you can tell which flourished in India okay so that is the uh, thing then 1773 uh, Peshwa now in the Maratha side Peshwa Narayan Rao was assassinated okay so again killed so he was the 10th Peshwa of Maratha Empire and he was killed by his own uncle if you see Raghunath Rao own uncle and uh so like this Maratha, Mughal, uh, the Sikhism, everywhere something has happened on August 30th and so that's a very, as I told, very lengthy uh, line of events today. Okay, internationally if you see, uh, Japan uh, ended its occupation of Hong Kong. Okay, so Hong Kong which you know which is in this side, even though it is an Asian side, it looks like UK or it looks like US and all developed. Okay, there's a reason for that that I'll tell you. So that uh, place which in the war time Japan had occupied from British and then later Japan surrendered to British also in the 1945 when they were losing uh, after the uh, atom bomb and all they they lost and they ended the occupation in hong kong and gave it back to british empire in 1945 okay and you should know that till 1997 it was with british only 
don't think that colonization and all these things ended in 1947 when India and all got independent. Hong Kong was actually given as lease to uh, British Empire long back 1898. Uh, the British Queen Victoria had put a 99 year lease agreement telling like uh, to China it is coming out of China's area so that will be with us okay related to some opium trade and tea trade and all which they had those days uh, Hong Kong will be given as lease to British that is why you see Hong Kong like all other developed countries with lot of buildings and structures and all because it was not under China's rule till 1997 it was under British occupation so that is why British people developed it same how they developed their British side okay and it influenced you can see in Singapore also that area you can see that so that is why many 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 things are there not only Hong Kong, I think the uh, Macau or some other uh, very big uh, casino area is there. Same like you see uh, San Francisco and California and all in USA, you have this uh, Macau region and this uh, uh, Hong Kong region in our side because they were actually controlling these areas for many, many years till 97 after which China took it and then now they will go back to how China controls the world or controls the other countries. Okay, so that is again important, interesting historical thing which happened. Then a very interesting uh, thing. Moscow, that is Russia's uh, capital to USS capital Washington, a hotline, a phone call, a hotline was made live and the message which they passed first, that is the interesting part here, okay, a phone call is a normal thing, but a phone call, the first message which USA texted was the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog's back. So you will think like what is this, it doesn't make any sense, it's actually one sentence which has all the letters of the English alphabet. Okay, X is there, Y is there, Z is there, W is there, S, T, R, any any compli any letter which you usually don't use in, your, use in your normal sentences together, everything is there inside this. Okay, that you can see. It's actually a quiz question also which comes, which is the sentence, with shortest sentence which has all the letters of the English alphabet. So like that, uh, even Russia replied back something and all with some pictures of some, uh, some uh, meaning something they gave back. Okay, so like that it was used because it contains every letter in the alphabet and that is the hotline established in 1963. Now, there is a country, Azerbaijan, which I showed you, Azerbaijan versus Armenia war is happening. I showed you the map two days back. That country got independence in 1991. You know that time Russia was, Soviet Union was disintegrating and many countries were happening. So, uh, 1991, August 30, Azerbaijan declared its independence. Okay, 1952, now two people's death anniversary is there. Now we told birth and many things, assassination, all death anniversary of two people in the modern context. One is 1952, Osborne Smith, who is the first governor of the Reserve Bank of India. You know, Reserve Bank of India was formed in 1934 under the RBI Act 1934 in and around the 1935 Government of India Act. So that time, uh, the governor, the first governor was Osmond Smith. Uh, he uh, died, okay, he died in 1952, August 30th. Okay, another one person which you will be familiar, Bipin Chandra, the uh, historian, okay, who writes history textbooks and all this thing. He passed away 2014 on August 30th. Okay, so his textbooks and research work is also very useful. Many students follow him. So, he died uh, August 30, 2014. Okay, so this is the happenings of today and I hope you got a lot of information. Today, I, 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 lengthiest, okay, lengthiest I think till date is today's episode when it comes to this series. So please go and watch that and if you need the current affair packs, please come and uh, message me in WhatsApp. The WhatsApp number is given on screen where you can simply message and I will tell you how to enroll with the discounts. Okay, discounts is ending. That is why I am forcing you else this will be open throughout the year. This will be there. But serious aspirants should not simply waste money on things which is available at a lower cost. Okay, so please uh, get in touch with me. Many more announcements are coming. So you can wait for that also. 2024 batch 2 also we are taking people even now till tomorrow after that it's closed then batch 3 may come after one month after two months we can't tell now okay so wait for all these things and uh, watch the editorial which i told as i told august 30th editorial please go and watch this uh, i'll wind up this thank you and have a nice day